Hello artists, hello artists, hello artists, hello, 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 hello families, hello families, hello families, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Little Studio by the Studio Museum in Harlem. Let's get ready to listen, look, make, and share. Let's listen. Here is our special magic words box. Let's look inside and see what words we'll be hearing a lot today. Let's check the box. The first word is the word textured. Texture is how something feels or how something looks like it feels. For example, something may feel bumpy hard or rough, textured. Let's find out what's the second word. Shake the box. The word drum. A drum is an instrument used to play music. It's something that makes sound. Let's look. Put on your art glasses and let's look at some art. What do you see? Do you notice the texture on this artwork? What do you think it sounds like? This is an artwork by artist Houston E. Conwell. He made it between 1975 and 1980. He named this artwork Drum. In his art, he explores and celebrates African-American culture. Let's move. Artists, take a few seconds to imagine yourself playing a drum. Would you play it loudly? Or quietly? Would you play it fast? Or would you play it slow? Let's make. Now, inspired by artist Houston E. Conwell, you will create your own musical sculpture. These are the materials you may use. A recycle cardboard box, some masking tape, some dry beans, some tissue paper, and some newspapers. You'll need liquid glue, foam brush or any type of brush. And I like to add some water to my glue. Artists, let's begin. Take your box and add the beans inside. This is how you're gonna be adding sound to your drum. Make sure that you secure it with the masking tape so that when you shake the drum, the beans don't fall out. Secure it really well. Next, you're gonna take your tissue paper and your newspaper, and you're gonna tear it apart into smaller pieces. Once you have enough, you may begin to glue it. You're gonna be covering your drum 
to give it some texture. You may layer the papers on top of each other. You may crumble them up. You may fold them. There are many ways in which you can create texture. I like adding glue over and over again. And I really enjoy creating layers. The more layers, the more texture your drum will have. Make sure that you cover all the sides so that you can make your drum very unique. Your very own drum with a lot of texture. Let's chair. This is my drum sculpture. Artists, we would like to invite you to share your drum sculptures with the community on Instagram at Studio Museum with the hashtag Little Studio Artwork. And finally, if you were so inspired by drums, we would like to suggest a book to you. Drum Dream Girl by Margarita Engel, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Enjoy! Goodbye everybody, this was beautiful. We sure had some fun in Little Studio.